Now this weekend only, very cute idea. Till December 21st, Hershey's opened a store at Queen and Spadina here in Toronto. You can buy a chocolate bar and pay by saying thank you. Isn't that amazing? It's a lovely way to capture the spirit of the season to say thank you to our audience. Hershey sent down an assortment of chocolates for you. <laughs> Enjoy. I think that's beautiful. Pass on a thank you. Do something nice. That's what the holidays are all about right now. And giving someone chocolate for free, that's a big deal, I think. <laughs> all right, we're going to talk a little bit about makeup right now. I got some true or false questions. I've already looked them over, and I know none of them. No, I know a couple. <laughs> a couple. Okay. So this is the first one. Mascara is applied after using, an eye, after using an eyelash curler. Is this true or is this false? I say false. You say I, false. And here's why. If you do a light application of mascara yeah. and let it give it 30 seconds to sort of semi-dry and then curl, your lashes will stay curled. It's similar like using a mousse in your hair. Oh. So you're priming your lashes so when they dry, they're going to stay curled. So they're not going to be crispy no. and like break in Crispy the happens. <laughs> <laughs> crispy ha deep fried eyelashes, deep I call fried. them, okay? It's when you curl after you've mascaraed. Okay. Okay, so oh, like okay. a lot of mascara. I'm saying a very light a application. Bit. Then you curl, yeah. and then you, then you can do more mascara after. Oh. But once mascara is dry, don't go back with your mascara, because that's when the flakes start happening. OK, yeah. OK, I got it. You must always use a powder after applying a liquid foundation. True or false? I'm going to say false. I know you're right. Oh, good. Because many foundations, the, the cosmetic industry has caught on that women don't like using powder. Yeah. So they're, they're now making foundations self-setting. Okay. So you don't have to powder it down. Oh, that's good. Okay. Lip liner pencil is applied before lipstick. I'm going to say true. I say false. Oh. If you're in a hurry. Who's right? Who knows? <laughs> it could be either of us. If you're in a hurry, Obviously, it is so yeah. intimidating to draw a perfect line starting with a pencil. Right. It's better to put your lipstick on first, smoosh it around, yeah. and then just outline to perfect the edge. Mm. Okay? Way faster, way more effective. You're right. It is a little hard to get the line it's perfect, very hard. right? Yeah. Everyone should use a primer. I say false. I agree. Oh, good. Not, not everyone needs one. If your moisturizer and your foundation is staying on and looking mm -hmm. beautiful, there's no need to use it. Yeah. Uh, but if it's not, then you may want to look at that moisturizer and foundation or consider for a primer. Because the whole point of the primer is to get your makeup to stay longer and, and also to go to on nice a bit. and smooth. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Skin brighteners and lighteners are the same thing. True or false? That's a big one. It's false. It's false, They're right? They're two different products. Uh, anything that says brightening or illuminating is yeah. a cosmetic that puts a light reflection on your skin to make it glow. Okay. And lighteners are a treatment target product that has got ingredients that will fade away dark spots in your skin, such as sun damage. Oh. So uh, a lightener is a treatment, and illuminator is a cosmetic. Okay, all right. Do those lighteners hurt at all? No, not at all. Oh, they don't? Not at okay. all. Not at all. Well, if you have a face full of freckles, what are you going to do? Like dot, 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 dot. No, you just get a big <gasps> vat of it. And... <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pino. Good true or false. I learned a thing or two.